Fifty. A call. A phone. Um. What'd you call a fold? I don't know what you're on about. You what? To tell you the truth, I don't know how to play poker. Right, well I'm out of the game, so let me see your cards and I'll tell you whether you've got a good or a bad hand. Oh, I've got a great hand, I'll just have my nails done. Right, well you're gonna have a problem here, because these are Pokemon cards. What? Where'd you get them from? My pocket. Well you can't use them here. Sorry guys, he's a bit of an idiot. That's alright, David. Many beginners make that mistake. Can we play on? Play on. That's right. Hey, that's a nice keyboard, Jimmy. Jimmy? <laughs> I was just saying, oh, that's a nice keyboard. Yeah. What make is it? Yamaha. A Yamaha? That's right. A Yamaha? What are you doing, Zipwise? A Yamaha poker face, poker face. A Yamaha poker face, poker face. A Yamaha, oh, 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 oh. Yo, 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 I hit a hug. Jump in one. Get out! Does he not like Lady Gaga? Not for everyone, I suppose. Why we should never do things together. He was ruined it by bursting into spontaneous song or setting things on fire or teaching budgies how to solve riddles. I only did that once. You did it twice. I thought it was the same budgie. That would explain the erratic nature of the results. My point is, once again, you've ruined what could have been a good night. We can still have a good night. Hey, why don't we buy a cow and teach it how to play table tennis? That would be terrible. How would it hold the bat? In its mouth. Well, no. We could get some scissors and cut off men's ponytails. No. Uh, go to a boxing match dressed as Gandhi. No. Phone Louis Walsh and see if he wants to go to the cinema. <sighs> Not again. Uh, release a turkey into a nightclub. No, but we could go to club, I suppose. Yeah, it'll be great. But we're not taking the turkey. Oh. And I'm not dancing. That's fine. We'll go to the Blue Donkey. It's free entry on Fridays. It's Saturday. We won't be free then. I'm just giving you all the facts. <laughs> So I said, if you park in my private space again, there's going to be more than that stupid collar around your neck. It's going to be a neck brace. And then I threw the trifle in his face and left. Bloody Vickers. You could just send him a letter of apology. Nah, he'll get over it. Eh? What? She's alright, isn't she? You should go chat her up. What? I don't know about all that. Go on. I don't really know what to say. You don't know any chat up lines. I never really understand them. Right, I'll give you a few and you can try them out. I don't know. Do it, or I'll give you a Chinese bird. Um, Here's one. You say, there's something wrong with my phone. She says, what? You say, it hasn't got your number on it. Well, that's not an error with the mobile. That's her fault for never giving me our number. I don't want to be bad-mouthing Vodafone. They're for a quality service. I can't blame them for this. You're not blaming Vodafone. You're just asking her out, but in a funny way. A funny way? Or a way that makes me look like a right footstool for having no knowledge of phones? Right, I'll give you some more. <clears throat> hey, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, Vodafone are a bit rubbish, aren't they? Because they won't give me your number. What? Uh, I'm just saying, if you're thinking of changing service provider, Vodafone don't give out people's numbers. 
Right. Well, that's good, isn't it? I don't know. My dad actually works for Virgin Bank, so can you stop having a go at them? Oh, sorry. I think they're great. Uh, so, uh, did you want some more ice in your drink? Because you look hot. Oh, do you work here? No. Then why are you offering me ice? I'm not, I'm, I'm just saying you look a bit hot. I wouldn't want you to, like, overheat or faint or that sort of thing. Oh, you can just take off your top if you're too hot. No, we just take off my top. No, I'm just being, if you're too warm, I am not... What do you want? Uh... Have you tried nicotine patches? Because you're smoking. I'm actually trying to quit, so I'd appreciate you not bringing up my addiction when I'm trying to have a good night. Uh, your hand looks heavy. Let me hold it for you. This is a serious medical condition, and I thank you not to joke about it. Whoa, that is a massive hand. I hadn't even noticed that before. David, have you seen this? What are you doing? Stop shouting about it. It's huge. Would you shut up about my massive hand? Sorry. How did you get your jacket on? Because those are quite tight sleeves. Oh. Ow. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, thanks. It didn't hurt that much. No, I mean mentally. Are you okay? Most people have given up after the first rejection. Oh, you heard all that? Yeah. It was like watching a mouse nibbling at live electrical wires that are on a mouse trap being circled by hungry buzzards and the whole event is taking place on a minefield covered in lava. That's kind of what it reminded me of. That was a doomed mouse. Yeah. That's exactly the sort of metaphor I've always tried to avoid being a part of. I just don't think I'm very good at talking to girls in a sort of club environment. Huh. That's a shame. Wait a minute. You're a girl! Yeah! Oh, uh, are you are you some sort of magnet lady? Because you're very attractive. Magnet lady? Yeah. I don't get what that means. Neither do I, I just thought of it then. Uh, well, thank you. My name's Anton, Anton Smith. I'm sick plants. Uh, do you want a drink? Yeah, I'll have a vanilla scented milkshake, please. Okay. Uh, two vanilla scented milkshakes, please. Shaken, not stirred. Well, obviously. Uh, so do you go out much? Yeah, I try to go out every 11 days. I was here with my friend, Prancing Patricia, but she got card script. Oh, that's a shame. Mm. What about you? Do you come out often? Uh, yeah, I do. I go out, like, every night. Oh, cool. I haven't seen you out before. That's because I usually wear a disguise. A disguise? Yep. Because I'm famous. Really? Yep. What, what do you do? I'm One Direction. One Direction or a band? No, you're thinking of Westlife. Oh, wow! So, if you're One Direction, then you must be going to Billy's Mojo's party on Friday. Anyone who's anyone who's anyone is going to be there. Yes, I am going to Billy's Mojo's party on Friday. Uh, where is it again? Number 7, Boom Room Avenue. In what town? This town. And the postcode is? WK3HAR. And it starts at? 9.30. And his name again? Billy's Mojo. And the event is a? Party. Yes, I am going to that. Uh, Billy's is a close friend of mine. Wicked Sticks! Hey, I love this song! Should we go dance? Okay! Well, I met this amazing girl called Lantern and we had loads in common and she had a stylish hat. But then she went off with some handsome young punk. Bad luck, mate. Well, there's plenty more fish in the sea. Yeah, but I wanted that fish. And now she swam away with some hunky lobster with gel hair and a six pack. Well, you know what they say about lobsters. They're never far from crabs.
Was that a joke about ST Elias? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here it was. It's not really my sort of humour. Also, no one says that about lobsters. Alright, let's just try and cheer you up. I won't bother next time. Ah, <sighs> she was so great. I really think I'm in love with her. If only there was some way of getting her to love me back. Well, there is one thing you could do. What's that? There's this guy I know. He, uh... He sells a certain product that can make people change their way of seeing things. What do you mean? What product? Cheese. Cheese? Yes. Cheese. He can sell you a special cheese that'll make her fall in love with you. All you need to do is get her to eat it. Wow. But I don't know about this. Would it be morally right to make her fall in love with me? Of course it is. It's fine. Okay, fine. Who is this mysterious character then? His name is Cheesy McGee. Cheesy McGee is me. So, what brings you to these parts, my young ragamuffin? What is a ragamuffin? Well, I assume it's a muffin that enjoys music originating from Jamaica. No, you're thinking of a reggae muffin. Oh yeah, then I don't know. What's it to you anyway, hmm? Now answer my question, what do you want? Cheese, please. Louise? Cheese, eh? What makes you think I know anything about that? Well, you are Cheesy McGee. All oh, right, you got me. Yes, I know a thing or two about cheese. What do you need? Stilton? Celtic gold? Or something a bit stronger? Stinking bishop? Perhaps. I need something that will make a girl fall in love with me. Love cheese? Ooh, I see. Have you got something? Oh, I've got something, all right. You get a week dish. And she'll fall in love with you faster than a cheese in a cheese rolling race. But is it the right thing to do? Maybe I should just try talking to her again and then buy her some flowers or something? And maybe she'll just fall in love with me of her own accord? No, no, I don't think that's likely. Oh, why? Well, no offense, mate, but you've got a body like an anorexic stick insect. You need all the help you can get. I'm not sure you can use anorexic as a description. It could be offensive to anorexic people. All right, you look like a crackhead then. They're really thin. Is that allowed? Yeah, I think so. They're quite cool about that sort of thing, the crackheads. Right. Where do you get the point? You're like a mess, and you've got a need for cheese. I'm still not sure. Then allow me to explain the situation via song. You got a body like a frail giraffe, but this will make you think you're looking fine. You got a style of a style of cap, but this will make you say, well, you'll be mine, oh. Well, if you're thin or fat, cheese is right where it's at. She and a body can buy drinks for two, you need a cheese skirt to blow her mind, oh. You damn must be consumed. Eat them, eat for fondue. Now that you have it, wait a minute, I've got a push square. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, please. Eat them, it's low in carbs. Eat them, made on a farm. Wait a minute, I've got a push square. Oh, wait a minute, will you? Just wait a minute. She might have left you for some other dude. Well, this can taste calcium carbonate. 
No, she don't need to hear you talk the talk. Just go and get why the cheesemonger gave. Oh, I've got a smelly old cheese board. She had a body of my drinks for two. You need a cheese, could have blown mine to mine. No, eat I must be consumed. I know you want it. Eat I'm hit by fine new. I'll let you have it. Wait a minute, I got a fresh square. Wait a minute, will you? It's made with lactose, it's great by non-toast, it's made from goat's itch. Oh, oh, not generated, less the baby bottle, what's I really say? Hello to the fellow who knows, show. Yellow and pale, this texture is stale, it's comparable to Wensley Dare. No need for condiments, see, I'm definitely cheese king, confident, confident. It's the best of the dairy products, yes, I can vary. Products, milk, yeah, good, or cheese, but only one of them will please. I'm talking pasteurization, fermentation, by information. I know the laughing cow ain't laughing now, cause cheesy McGee's in town. E to the D, to the A, to the M, to the No, that's it. E to the D, to the A, to the M, to the Well, oh, she had a body to my drinks for two. We need a cheese, girl, to blow her mind. Am I in a body, 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 body? E, that must be consumed. E, that meat for fondue. Wait a minute, I got up the square. Oh, wait a minute, just, just wait a minute. All right, I'll take the cheese. How much is it? Four ninety nine. What a bargain! Sticking gum. It's on my wall. Huh? I was just pointing it out. There's some gum on your wall. Oh yeah. Well, what are you doing here? I'm here for the party. Do I know you? Yeah, it's me. Is it for Humphreys? No. Don't think I know you, mate. Well, you do. I'm your dad's sister. You're my auntie. No. Wait. I mean, yes. Which is it? No or yes? Yes. Well, you better come in then. Hmm. Is that your dog? No. I've just been wandering around here for weeks. I'm pretty sure it's not mine. Do you want a drink? Yeah, I'll have a, uh, a warm milk and honey, please. All right. Hi, Abyss. Who's that? This is my auntie Zipwise. Oh, right. I didn't know you had an auntie. Neither did I. There he is. Oh. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so anyway, is, uh, is Lampton Smith around somewhere? Uh, not that I'm interested, I'm just making conversation. Yeah? Who's that? Thanks, boys. Hey, how's it going? Nice to see you. Oh, Lantern, hello. How, how are you? How's it going? Oh, Lantern, fancy seeing you here. How are you? Oh, Lantern, you're here. How nice. Good good to see you. Is it fine? Are you talking to yourself? No, I was talking to you. Ah, huh. you're talking very quietly. What did you say? I said, nice, Lantern. I'm pleased you're going. How fancy. What? going, I'm just getting another drink. Well, good, so am I. Uh, how are you? Yeah, great. Just got a new shin pad. Nice, I love shin pads. Yeah, they're great. Yep. Uh, so anyway, do you want a cheese sandwich? You bought a cheese sandwich to a party? Yeah. Well, it's good. See? White bread. I'm okay, actually. No, but it's good for you. It's got calcium in it. I like it. No, oh, but look, it's really yummy and this is sort of... Hold that thought. Um. Here's a 
drink, mate. Thanks, Billings. Show us some drugs. No thanks. Alright. Billings, is it, boys? Alright, cool. Crystal? Yeah. Um, Jono keeps jumping out the bathroom window. Does he? Yeah, he's done it like four times now. That is a dilemma. Why don't you uh, shut the window? That's a fair shot. Fair cool. Fair enough. I'll go do that now. Is it as? I'd like you to meet Jerry. Hello. Hey, Joey, do you want to try some crisps? I made like bits of potato. Yeah, cheers. Just over here. In a bowl. So is Joey your boyfriend? No, he's just some guy. Yeah, he is. So anyway, you must be hungry from all that mingling. Do you want a cheese sandwich? No, I'm fine. But thanks. Why? Let's go dance. Okay. Come on! Let's all dance! Hello? Alright Zip Blast, how's the party going? It's not going very well to BH. She just won't eat the sandwich. Oh come on. If you can't get one girl to eat one sandwich, how are you ever going to run a successful restaurant chain? I don't want to run a successful restaurant chain. Trying to set up a business like that in this economic climate would be madness. Anyway, she's all over that Joey guy from the club, so I just can't see the flaming point. Oh, don't give up, mate. But it's hopeless. Oh right, forget it then. Anyway, the reason I called is the bailiffs have been round and taken your TV and wardrobes. Thought you'd be interested. Bailiffs? But I don't owe any money. No, but they were in the area, so say it's then coming out twice if you do owe money in the future. Hmm. Yeah, also, we're out of milk. Bye. Hey, Zipras. What are you doing out here? I was just on the telephone. Apparently some bailiffs have just taken away my TV and wardrobes. And also, we're out of milk. I'm sorry to hear that. How come you're not with Joey? Ugh. Turns out he's a bit of a crumple crumple. Why? What did he do? Like most men, he's only interested in one thing. Football. Personally, I hate all sport, except for bare knuckle badminton. Yeah, that's really good. I have it on the Wii Fit, the fitness orientated games console. Oh, wow. I've always wanted to go on one of those. We should come round sometime. Have a go. Really? Yeah. I'd much prefer to spend time with you than that with Joey. So would I.
Lantern. Yes. I love. Yeah! Ah! 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 No! Ah! Ah! Help! Someone! Get her out! Ah! Oh! 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 So the dog must have eaten the sandwich. Yeah, and now he's in love with me. It's unbearable. He's been all over my Facebook. What, have you learned something from this experience? Yes. It's wrong to use cheese to get people to like you, as it may be eaten by a dog. Hmm. Who the fun run is that? Louie! Hi guys, I got three tickets to go see Fast and Furious. Do you want to come along? Go on, man.